but this has been much more difficult because it's uh, during the daytime when the the heat is so hot. And Shirley McGarrett didn't just lose power in her Redford home, she also lost phone service and she's prepared for plan B if the power isn't back on soon. I'll go down to my basement. Basement is much cooler. Shirley and her neighbors lost power on Monday, got it back yesterday morning and then lost it again. A concerned friend even stopped by late last night to check on her. Well, it's encouraging. You feel loved when you know somebody is concerned about you, so that's great. I just want, you know, I want it on so that, you know, especially the elderly people can, you know. I mean, if it's going to be 100 degrees for the next few days, they need to get with it. The scattered power outages are also causing quite the headache for those who have to travel certain roads, including Telegraph at and around McNichols, where the traffic signal is out. And for those living in a nearby neighborhood on Detroit's west side... It's been very, very frustrating. It's been miserable. I mean, I come here during the day just to check on my home, and after that, I'll leave. We caught up with Leela Jamison as she checked in on her west side home where the power is out, so everything is hot or melting fast. It's the heat, then my groceries are, you know, went bad in my refrigerator, then my deep freezer. Food is going bad, so wow. it's been hard. Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.